episode, I'll be sitting down one-on-one -on -one with an actor, a musician, or some other creative type. Some you'll know, some you'll be getting to know, but all of them you should know. They're living on a dream. Are you? Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kate Linder. <laughs> and he's the voice of Porky Pig. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob Bergen. Everything I was like, going, wow, who's she going to be introducing? <laughs> the Porky Pig one, I don't know, well, that one's me. Ladies and gentlemen, CEO of Philly Chick Pictures, Brooke Lewis. Did you know from the start that you wanted to perform? Yeah, I knew from birth that I, it was part of my heart, my soul, my passion, that I was supposed to do exactly what I'm doing. That I... So, Chris Alport! <laughs> so, <laughs> he is so holy. How are you? I'm great. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Beaver. <laughs> so how did that transformation happen? I mean, from you know, from being a little girl and a young child wanting to be an actress, taking classes. When did when did it feel to you that you were really that's what you were going for? That's what was happening. Well, I just always knew. I'm Fabric. So here you are, 14 years old, and you're in this room with other actors who you had watched when you were younger, yeah. from doing what you're doing, what you were doing now. Exactly. And and they're You're like, why am I here? <laughs> they, right, and they're all taking me under my under under their wing. And go. tell us a little bit about when was the first time you knew that oh, you what? wanted to go into voiceover, that you wanted to do cartoon. How did that all come about? Like a kid, you know, all kids watching TV, watching cartoons. Uh, I went one step further. I said, oh, I want to do that too. Can you speak to a little bit about the the charity work you do and the causes that you put your heart into? I will. Um, you know, like you, I try to commit to charity work because, you know, people come to you when you start to be in the public eye a little bit and they want you to participate in everything and it's just not possible. So I believe that when doing charity work, you need to participate in the work that inspires you and that touches your, your soul. When you were young, was this something you said, Mom, Dad, I want to act? No. 